Prince George is turning double digits and the palace is commemorating the milestone with a brand new portrait. The photo, which was taken on the steps of Windsor Castle, features the 10-year-old donning a blue checkered collared shirt and slacks and was released on Friday the 21st of July, just one day before George's official birthday. The snap was taken by photographer Millie Pilkington, a change from his mother, Princess Kate, who's taken a son's photo on his previous birthdays. There's not an ounce of awkwardness as he poses for this portrait, just good humour, and what looks like a desire to appear as unpretentious and as natural as possible. Prince George received many compliments on his birthday. George is a hard worker, he's very smart and right up there at the top of his class. The insider went on to call the prince a well-grounded, down-to-earth little boy, and noted that George is very sociable. Prince George will be king after his father, the current Prince of Wales, who's first in line to the throne after King Charles. While we're giving best wishes for the future king across the Atlantic, the wife of George's estranged uncle has launched a new PR trick. According to a source from Doria's friend, Meghan forced her mother to stage a new pap at Gagosian's gallery in Beverly Hills and scheduled the photo to be posted on Prince George's birthday. Meghan paid for all expenses of the outing between Doria and said friend. We should no longer be surprised at what Meghan will unleash when any member of the royal family celebrates their special occasion. Is this a coincidence that George's photo and Doria's pap were released on the same day? But Meghan completely failed to think that a mother could steal the spotlight from the heir to the throne. No way. She didn't appear with a mother in the new photos as she apparently received a wave of criticism over her Montecito market staged photos a few days ago. On Thursday, Meghan Markle's mother, Doria Ragland, was photographed at Guzgozgian's gallery in Beverly Hills, where she and a friend checked out an exhibition by multidisciplinary artist Honor Titus. She looked unrelaxed when Meghan's paparazzi were aiming the camera at her. Doria wore a red jumpsuit for summer heat, and she paired it with sandals and a simple gold chain necklace. Her pal went for a light ensemble with white trousers and jacket paired with a light blue shirt. She chose black loafers for a footwear and tied a grey locks back in a ponytail. The pals later dined at Il Forneo restaurant. The exhibit, titled Advantage Inn, showcases the artist's love of tennis, something that Meghan has shown a keen interest in in the past with several sightings at the prestigious Wimbledon event. Doria's sighting comes as speculation over Prince Harry and Meghan's relationship continues to grow. Remember that in New York car chase, Doria got into the taxi on staged car chase Hertz night and chose not to wear a seatbelt. This emotional blackmailing hypocrite knew exactly what she was doing, as the only other living grandmother of Harry's kids, and thought the public would 110% buy the car chase narrative. Instead, authorities and the taxi driver openly laughed at it, and the Sussex's popularity numbers haven't at all improved. Also, her daughter worked with Backgrid, unleashed Jill after a car chase that, according to the Sussexes and Doria, could have damaged them all. They've claimed that the media continues to traumatise them, not give them privacy, and yet they keep the paps permanently on speed dial. Is that good parenting?